We're here today with Hayden Schultz, Global Architect for TIPCO, and we're going to talk about some new products that are coming out. Let's start with, uh, tell me a little bit about yourself and how you came to TIPCO. I was working for Streambase, a, a small startup in the Boston area that makes uh, the Streambase event processing product that TIPCO acquired in 2013. I've been working on event processing for the past almost 13 years it's with Streambase, um, doing mostly uh, um, financial market things and high frequency trading, uh, currency trading, um, a lot of that, a lot of uh, asset classes. Now that TIBCO owns Streambase, we move into all kinds of things: um, vehicles, uh, Internet of Things, and Today we'll talk about big data. We see a lot of solutions that we find repeatable, um, but that's not necessarily obvious from the customer's point of view. Okay. You know, we have a lot of different products, and rather than just giving the customer a bunch of pieces, a bunch of parts they can build complicated things together, what we're doing is we're putting them together in common application frameworks so that we build an application, in the case we're going to talk about today, a big data application. Um, and what it does for customers, it gives them an example of how the products fit together and how they work with other technologies in a scalable, reliable, uh, best practices um, solution so that you can take this and customize it to something else. And we've been calling it a product, but this is something that we're giving out. This is not something that we're selling. They're sample implementations. So okay. there are full systems which you can take and and customize to use yourself. We're, we're releasing them in, with an, an open source license. You can do whatever you want with them. So we started focusing on Hadoop. Um, and Hadoop is in there. It's you know part of a fundamental, uh, a fundamental uh, building block that uh, Apache Spark uses. But when we look at what's the dynamic um, growth in the big data arena, right now we see it at Apache Spark. One way of thinking about this is while the accelerator is a new thing that we're, we're giving out, the various components are not really new in the sense that any of our customers could have taken our products and built systems on top of big data clusters, built systems on top of Spark. Um, they do that without us, but what this does is it lets someone who's new to it use these components. So we have... Um, an example of a customer, what they're doing with, uh, with Streambase and Spark is they have their, um, their uh, currency trading algorithms are written in Streambase. And what they want to do is they want to do back testing, uh, which means they have a large amount of historical data and they want to know whether their new algorithms perform better than their old algorithms. Now, if they knew what the new currency data is going to be like, that would be easy. It would be no <laughs> challenge at all. So, But they don't. So what they do is they store in their big data cluster, they store you know, all their financial trades that happen. And they store all of the raw, uh, um, the raw FX quotes you know, that happen every day. And so what they do to train their new algorithm, to evaluate it and compare it against their old algorithm, they take six months of data, they partition it into one-day chunks, which is turns out to be like 136 uh, different eight-hour chunks of data. Okay. And then they run the new algorithm where Streambase is a is running in a worker thread inside a Spark cluster, and so they take 136 simultaneous uh, um, partitions of data and they run them all in their cluster and they end up training six months worth of data in under an hour. Interesting. So it used to take them, you know, when they started doing this, it was, you know, you know, many, many hours. You know, they, they would typically think of it as in days. And now it's under an hour. So they can do um, a lot more experimentation. They can they can evaluate different changes and 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 get their um, their new versions of their algorithm tuned faster okay. and executed. So the, the accelerator is a, a sample solution and okay. it assumes that you are are using the TIPCO product set. Now you can swap in and out other mm -hmm. components if you want, but what we start with is Streambase for capturing the data. So one typical example is um, you have a Kafka bus. Yeah. Maybe that's the initial source of the data, or a JMS bus, or just, just a socket or web services. 
Uh, there's, there's a large variety of adapters we use to connect to the data source. And so those are very simple stream-based applications um, that connect to the data source and then write it into directly in HDFS or possibly write it out using Flume. And then it's in the big data system. So once you have a large portfolio of, of data to look at, what you can do is you run your, your data analytics at the, on it. The uh, data scientist comes out and uses, in the TIBCO stack, they would use SpotBuyer. And so they'll look at the, the data, connect using, um, there's a, a newly certified by Databricks Spark connector from SpotBuyer to the Spark system. Uh, they can run Spark SQL commands. Uh, they could run R commands directly from, um, from SpotBuyer. They can even use... Um, care the, uh, the the TIBCO Enterprise R runtime oh, okay. uh, um, to analyze the data as well. So in the case of this, the 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 accelerator for Apache Spark, what we do is Spotfire prepares the data, understands the the relationships, and once that's done, it uses um, sparkling water uh, an H two O layer on top of Apache Spark. Okay. And that trains us to a machine learning model. Okay, and so yeah. machine learning model is now saved. It's trained and saved inside the big data. So it's basically serialized out to HDFS. So if I were to try and sum it up, and you know, if I were talking to a potential customer of yours, it sounds like the important thing is that when you're looking at an accelerator, the acceleration, what you're accelerating is the time to value, it's an overused term, but it's the time to deliver something that's usable because you have this template. Exactly. If you look at why do projects fail, and, and at these large customers, these large companies, a lot of projects fail. Yeah. And the reason is it takes too much investment on the company's part before they start showing some return. And so the idea here is we're going to give you something that's all ready, it's front to end already. And all you do instead of all of the um, you know all of the plumbing, that's done. You work on the business logic. For someone that hasn't been working with you, or someone that hasn't been looking at this, how are they going to get started? They download this uh, uh, from the Tipco uh, Accelerator download sites, um, and they have the full source to everything. It's a totally open product. You do whatever you want with it. Mm -hmm.